Lamont in his daily briefing saying that he is still going to prioritize older individuals due to their high vulnerability to the COVID-19 virus. And he explains why. Take a look. Our priorities, when I looked at that age and said, let after 75 and above, let's go to 65 and above, is number one about saving lives and maintaining capacity in our hospitals. And it's also about ensuring equity, because uh, we have learned uh, the hard way that um, uh, different demographic groups, different ethnic groups, blacks and uh, other people of color, Hispanics um, have been disproportionately hit. As the state inches further into phase 1B, the governor expresses those 75 and older are top priority. But for those 65 and up, the governor says they are the next tier to have the top spot. Vaccinations can roll out for that group as early as February. For the rest in phase 1B, it will be in late February or early March when we can see frontline essential workers and those with high risk conditions getting vaccinated. And then phase 1C expected to begin in May, followed by phase 2 in June. Connecticut ranks fifth in the country for the fastest rollout of the vaccine, and Lamont says they are ready to distribute even more using all available spaces for max distribution for mobile vans to community clinics. We're rolling out there. Pharmacies, we're going to have the first of the um, CVS and Walgreen pharmacies opening up, I think, by the end of this week. Health officials say the timeline for vaccine distributions could change depending on the supply of the vaccine. Manufacturing could increase with Johnson & Johnson still pending on releasing their vaccine. Lamont also adding the federal supply of the vaccine remains limited, but they are set to receive an additional 50,000 doses sometime this week from a federal award. For those who are in the process of getting vaccinated, health officials advise people to remain vigilant in getting both doses of the vaccine. There is no outer limit for getting the second dose. So if you don't get it at 21 days for Pfizer, um, there is no harm to getting it at 25 days or 28 days or 30 days or even 60 days. As vaccines keep rolling out, the governor is asking for patients for the lower categories due to the situation being fluid for every age group. In Hartford, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News.